Melissa called the math lady. Today we're talking about similar triangles. Now you might remember way back when we talked about similar triangles and congruent triangles. So let's review those first. Let's start with congruent. So here I've got some triangles and if I told you that this angle and this angle were uh, equal and then also this angle and this angle were equal. We then can assume that the third angle is also equal, right? But what about the, the length of the side? If this is a three, and I said that this was a three, and if this was a four, and I said that this was a four, and if this was a five and that was a five, I would call these two triangles congruent. They're equal in size and shape. That's congruent. Well, let's go over to this guy. Let's compare these two triangles. Let's say it had the same angle measurements here and here. Okay, and even the third one, right? So it has the same shape, but instead of a three, this side is actually a five. This side is actually a six and this side is actually a seven. So same shape, different size. These two are called similar triangles. So today we're talking about this phenomenon between similar triangles and what we're gonna be talking about is the length of the sides. Turns out that similar triangles have lengths of their sides that are proportional. And what's cool about that is that if you have a missing side, you can use proportions or ratios to figure out your missing side. So what do I mean by they have sides that are proportional? Well, here's two similar triangles, okay? Same, same angles, but the sides are different. But if we look at the corresponding sides of each of the triangles, we're gonna see that they form a ratio. Watch, this three has a corresponding side with this six. So let's write three is to six as, let's try this side. This four has a corresponding side with this eight. Four is to eight. Let's keep going. This side of the triangle has a corresponding side with the 10. Let's see if these fractions or these ratios are equivalent. Three to six, four to eight, five to 10. It sure turns out that each of these is one half. So yep, they are equivalent. Essentially, we could say that this triangle is twice the size of this one. Well, let's use the fact that we know that these are proportional, the, the corresponding sides are proportional. Let's use that fact to find some missing sides. Take a look. So, we know the 2 has a corresponding side with the 6. But we, here we have an x. We don't know what this side is, but we do know what its corresponding side is 15. So we're going to put x over 15, and we can solve this proportion. Okay? The first thing I can do is I can simplify my 2 6 down to 1 3rd, and then I can look to see 3 times what is 15? 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 5 will give us my numerator, so x equals 5. Okay, what about this? Oh, actually, that is an x. Let's make this a y. I should have made that a little bigger. Let's, let's solve for this side. So again, we use the fraction that we know, the ratio that we know, which is 2 6. And here's the side that we don't know. We have a 6, but we don't know the y. So let's do this, 6 to y. And again, I can simplify this fraction down to one third. One times what is six? One times six is six. So three times six is going to be 18. Y is going to be 18. Okay, so again, all we're doing is using what we've learned about proportions and applying it to these similar triangles. Again, similar triangles have corresponding sides that are proportional. And that's it for me today. Okay, I've got some practice problems on the website. Make sure you check them out. That's it for me today. Nicole the Math Lady, I'm out. See you next time. Bye-bye.